Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where today we're going to be talking about the oldest mystery in the game. The most closely guarded secret the developers try to hide from us. The Satisfactory Storyline. And after almost 2,000 hours in the game, and a little bit of research, I think I got an extremely good theory about what it could possibly be. Or, it's completely wrong, and we laugh about it when the actual story is released. Either or, it's a win-win. Just remember to leave a like, and also put your guesses for what the Satisfactory story could be all about in the comments below. Again, this would kind of be like a time capsule of ideas, based on the information we have now. And that's a really good question. What do we even know about the Satisfactory story? Well, the developers have been extremely, extremely tight-lipped on it, but what we know is that the story is already completely planned out for the game, so all the kind of mysteries that are already in the world and everything we know is part of the story. So like Sam Moore, it's an extremely mysterious object in Satisfactory. One of the other great mysteries of the game that I did a video about that you can check out in the card above, and we also know that the Summer Sloops and the Mercer Spheres are tied to the story as well. But one thing I was able to find through a lot of digging and research was our boss in this entire story. So the Fixit Corporation has put us to work on the planet, and the person in charge of the Fixit Corporation, it would seem, is Katarina Parks. Then again, we don't know if she's the boss of like the whole Fixit Corporation, but it would seem to be that she's our boss. And she has an assistant named Steve. So once the full story is out, we'll have Katarina talking to us, Steve talking to us, and Ada giving us the tutorial type stuff. And all of us are working together to make Project Assembly. That's what we're sending up the Space Elevator, that's what everything's all for. What's Project Assembly? Well, we'll get into that. In fact, we'll have to get into a lot of questions about the game, because there's just so much that's unexplained. And I can just start blasting off a bunch of questions right here. Like, why is there a limited amount of Sam Ore you can get? Because when you put a miner on Sam Ore, you only get about 50 to 100 Sam Ore per game session. So it runs out. It's the only resource like this in the game, which is super, super, super strange. Like, maybe it's to encourage you to explore the world and gather the nodes up for project assembly? That's just a guess or maybe it has some mysterious other purpose. Again, I talked about that more in the Sam Orr video that I did. But also, what's really baffled me is the Mercer Spheres and the Summer Sloops. So these items are all over the Satisfactory world. But here's the thing that kind of messes with my head a bit. Why are there so many? I could understand maybe it's some secret object we have to find as part of our like job, but what could their like reuse value be? Or better yet, what benefit could they bring on such a mass scale? Like is each loop or sphere worth some inventory slots? Or... That's, that's literally my only guess, I have no idea. And also what's even weirder still, is why the Mercer spheres and loops can talk to us. So if you didn't know, if you stand next to one of these and you wait quite a while, there's a whole dialogue tree of them speaking to us. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. And of course, how can that be? Like, are they electrical? Are they tied to us somehow? Or is this a figment of our imagination? That also ties into another mystery, like what is our character? Are we actually a living creature, or are we a drone? Because in update 3, it showed our face mask was able to like change into different words and stuff. So it's a screen. And also, there's a setting to turn on arachnophobia mode in Satisfactory itself. So we can change how we perceive the world. But then again, our hub has a bed and a toilet in it, so maybe not. But it's just kind of funny we don't see anything underneath like our factory equipment clothing. Like we have gloves, masks, head to toe, we're covered up. But also we have the ability to respawn, so a human can't do that. It makes sense that the respawn would be another drone coming in or being made. 
And then if we are a drone, all the crash drop pods make a lot of sense because apparently Fixit has a lot of room for errors because of all the crash drop pods just everywhere. And you know if you throw a drone at a planet and it blows up, well that's not a big deal. You throw a living being, well maybe you got a problem. But then again, all the crash drop pods are already a problem. And that's a good question, why are there so many crash drop pods? Were there people before us going up and down? Was Fixit trying to send something else to the planet? Or maybe was something trying to take the drop pods down? Hmm, good question. Better question though. Why can the doggos find nuclear waste? It's not like nuclear waste just appears places naturally, I don't think. And then on top of all of that, we don't even know what Fix It is. And we don't even know what our goal is. We only know it's Project Assembly, that, that's it. And Fix It, what do they do? They fix things? We don't know. However though, I do think that I have a pretty decent theory I can put everything together here. But before I tell you my theory, remember to leave a like. Every like makes a doggo smile. Okay, but anyway, my theory, or should I say theories? I actually kind of have three. Two of them, all right. One of them, I'm fairly certain of. So theory number one is that Fix It is essentially a space repair shop. So we make parts, like on the planet, to send to a spaceport kind of hub that will fix spaceships as they pass on by. And you think that sounds far-fetched, but it really isn't if you consider the evidence. Because I did a little bit more digging, and there's concept art of what Project Assembly is. And that's this image here. So it looks like a giant orbital city almost. And that could absolutely be a spaceport, right? Ships would park, they'd have to stay there a while while we made all of the repair parts for their ships, and then they'd scoot. Makes a lot of sense. And although you might be thinking, oh, that doesn't look like a spaceport. Well, just remember, that's a concept drawing. And also, there's another picture from what I think is in-game of Project Assembly as well. And it looks like this. And you know, th just, this could be anything. <laughs> but this is from the original trailer when they launched Satisfactory. So everything could change. Who knows what that is? It definitely could be a repair shop. But the most critical piece of evidence is they actually admitted exactly what Project Assembly is. And it's a food court. Did you draw that big thing in the sky at the top of the space elevator? I did. It's a food court. We weren't sure if it's what's going to be like how many different food places and stuff like what they would serve and stuff like that. So I wasn't sure how big it was going to be. Lots of iterations in that one. Like I was told we can't have fish, which is sad. I love fish. Yep, see? Obvious. What would people do when they're getting their ship repaired? They'd go to the food court. Perfect. Yep, we're making a food court. It makes so much sense. GG easy. Already proven. Or that was a troll. Either or. It's just a theory. Oh goodness. I have a better theory for you though, that maybe most of you would accept. This one, this is a pretty reasonable theory. And that is that Massage AB, the planet we're working on, was actually an old human colony where aliens and like their alien stuff messed with our tech, destroyed the world, and now we have to get this. Fix it. <laughs> oh yes, there's even a pun involved. And it makes a lot of sense. There's a ton of evidence that supports this. Number one, it explains what project assembly could be. It's a giant spaceport where we're bringing in new colonists. And it also explains why the map is kind of broken up. Like when you run around the world, there's pits to like the void, there's waterfalls up and down. The world's pretty crazy. There's even giant spiders for Pete's sake. And that's because we had our old colony running on nuclear stuff and it all went kablooey. And that caused the whole planet to go super, super weird. But this also explains why lizard doggos can find nuclear waste. It's the remnants of the old colony. Ain't that nifty. But also this ties in all the alien stuff as well and why we have to collect it. Because it'll mess with our tech. So we gather it up and we simply throw it away. <laughs> Pretty much, it's like cleanup duty. This also explains though why there's a limited amount of Sam Ore. 
we just start gathering it up, use it maybe on a few little machines, but for the most part, we want to get rid of it because that kind of stuff is what destroyed the old colony. And then my final theory is just the developers are happy that the trains go true and they don't really have a plan for the story and they'll figure that out later. And all things considered, that's as likely as the other theories as well. However, those are just theories. They sound like good theories now, but remember, we only have up to tier 7 in tech. There's still like three more tiers or something like that that we need to go through, and the whole game can be completely different in one or two updates. But it is fun to theorycraft, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you did, remember to leave a like, leave your theories in the comments below, and I hope to see you in the next video. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>